Good thing that only cost four dollars. Hi, 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 hi. I'm gonna record my last haul. It's gonna be my last. <laughs> it's, uh, I'm gonna. T I'm, uh, okay, it's probably will. Uh, I don't know. I'm gonna try not to go shopping anymore. I've said, <laughs> how, many, how, many, how many times have I said this? Oh, I'm just gonna get on with it. This is a small haul. And I got this Ghostbusters Playmobil. That stuff is out now. I actually have already done this review. Check it out if you haven't already. It's an amazing set. That was at Toys R Us. Anything else here from Toys R Us? Yeah, Toys R Us had these True Heroes on sale. I'm missing one. I really like this one. I paid regular price for him. $15, which isn't very much for this. How do they describe these? Highly posable action figures. 12 inch large scale figures. They were all out of the shadow guy. They were $5 off, so they were around $10 each, which is great. They're really cool. I like them a lot. I was waiting forever for these to go on sale. I thought they're super cute and I just couldn't wait anymore. I wanted to get one of each from this series. There's actually one with Sophia's sister. There was a set before this that came with three Sophias and one of Sophia's sister, the cat. These ones all came with different animals. I'll probably get Sophia's sister that comes with a cat because it's a different animal and it's a different figure. I love the scale. It's gonna look awesome with my Ghostbusters firehouse. Anything else at Toys R Us? Yeah, I got this at Toys R Us. It was $5. Add to my reaction collection. I'm gonna open them all one day. Got quite a collection of those. Let's segue into Treasure Hunt, where I found this one for 60% off that price, so also around $5. So we got an arrow. What else did I get at Treasure Hunt? Two Duplo sets, 60% off that price, and 60% off this price. And they're both really new sets. Well, this is a new set. I'm not sure about this, but I just thought it was interesting and I do love Duplo. And that's an awfully cute set. Both farm related. Also at Treasure Hunt, I found these amazing little babies. They were $2 each. That Disney babies. And at an off price store, I found this. Now, there's these Marshalls winners. They're companies under TJ Maxx that you guys are familiar with in the States. They have the same toys. They have a policy where people can return things without a receipt. So I've been noticing a lot of old toys. It seems like one person is going to every single location and returning an old toy. It doesn't have a date on it, but I know this is a very old toy and I can see that that sticker has been put on there. So I think what they're doing is taking stickers off in the store and sticking them onto their own products. Hopefully they're buying the product at least because that's a little more honest, but I think they're taking the stickers, leaving the store, and then putting the stickers on products and then bringing them back and making cash from it. This is probably worth more than $10 anyway because it's an old toy. It is the muscly Luke. That is a hilarious figure because he never looked like that. So it's just a cool figure to get. At a random hardware store in Canada, it's a chain and I've never seen toys at any other of these home hardwares, but this one location gets all these weird toys that you don't necessarily see. I found these Disney Junior Miles from Tomorrowland, which I am huge into. It is showing up at, oh, that's another toy that I bought. Anyway, series two, I never saw this anywhere else and I am huge into Miles. I don't know why, and all of this Miles stuff is showing up. It is at the dollar store now. Let me show you what was at the dollar store. I picked up this at the dollar store for $4, and picked up this at the dollar store for $4. They also have Leo in his moon buggy, and they have all of the first series figures, including the mom, and they're all $4 each. It's crazy. So if you live in Canada and you have a Dollarama, go on down and pick up these. I really like these toys. They're really cute. They're made by Tommy. Oh, and did I show you this? This is around, I'd say $22 in Canada for one of these sizes. This was 60% off that, so 
seven dollars i think is what i paid for this awesome to be doing some building on you can never have too many platforms one more thing that i picked up what is this i'm not going to show you which ones tell you the truth i don't think i can remember but i finished my collection of shoppies i'm obsessed and i went around and i found the last happy places that i needed happy places shoppies so now i have them all and i don't have to worry about it anymore so many great toys i saw this week including pirates of the caribbean are starting to show up at the disney store and at toys r us they're pretty okay i'm not going to pay full price for them i already have a lot of pirate toys and I don't need to get those as well right away. Definitely will probably pick up the figures but I'll try to hold out for a sale because they're coming in packs of two. Another great toy that I saw was these rusty rivets. They look so good. Now here's the story. I found them in two different stores, these two cars out of the series, but there's a lot of other awesome vehicles and you can stick them all together and everything. The sad part to my story is I went to one Toys R Us and it said you can't have them until August the 1st. So that's a long ways away. And then I went, oh, okay. I was already buying way too many toys that day. So I just let it slip and I thought it must be a mistake. I'll go back tomorrow or some next week to see if it's out on the shelf. And then I went to another store, another Toys R Us, and they also had them. So then I took them to the cash as well, and it also had the same message. So then I went back to the other store, and I talked to a manager, and they said, yeah, it's probably legit August 1st. I just think that's an awfully long time for them to hold something, and something that's not like a big name like Star Wars. Nonetheless, I couldn't get these awesome cars. I am really excited to get these series. They're in the same style as Paw Patrol figures and PG masks. I just think they're really cute and really cool. They're like tough car toys. Again, they'll look fantastic with my Ghostbusters firehouse. That is it. I'm definitely going to pick up those rusty rivets for sure. I'm going to try not to get anything else. I don't know about the shoppies and the furniture and stuff or the houses. I don't know what to tell you. Oh, I also got this. But I'm gonna take it back to the store because I thought that Boba Fett was different, but he is exactly the same as the one I have. I have a lot of Sophia sets to open. Thank you so much for watching. Remember to like, comment, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time. <laughs>